draw a label diagram of a section through ovary now students we will be learning the structure of a transfer section of ovary now here this is the structure of the ovary now this entire portion is the structure it is slightly oval in shape and these are the ligaments and this is the ut uh, fallopian tube or oviduct now this end is called uh, the finger like projection this end is called as fimbrae it is a part of the uterian tube which is also called as oviduct now within the ovary there are follicles now there are follicles of different stages now these follicles are primary follicle under the influence of hormones like follicle stimulating hormones and luteinizing hormones these follicles will grow it will have the primary oocyte in it which undergoes the cell division and it form it gave rise to a secondary oocyte then again it completes the cell division giving rise to the ovum so the outermost cells which is slightly brown in color they are the follicular cells and inside that the single cell is the primary oocyte now these primary oocytes undergo development and it gave rise to secondary follicle and the tertiary follicle now the tertiary follicles are the completely formed follicles the completely matured follicles they are also referred to as graafian follicle now these are the secondary follicles the difference between these two are the follicular cells so these cells have increased in its number and the primary oocyte has also increased in its size and as the follicle is developing the process of oogenesis is also continuing now in this stage a cavity is formed and then there are granulosa cells and then the secondary oocyte which is covered by additional protective layers like zona pellucida corona radiata and additional protective layers are formed now this structure is called the mature follicle which is also referred to as graafian follicle now after when the concentration of luteinizing hormone increases once this mature follicle is formed the follicle ruptures releasing the oocyte now this stage is called as secondary oocyte only the secondary oocyte enters into the uterian tube whereas the remaining part of the follicles remains inside the ovary it gets converted into corpus luteum and then it gets converted into corpus albicans now the secondary oocyte is released into the uterian tube now this is the structure of the ovary containing different kinds of follicles now the ovary would be covered by the layer of epithelial cells it is also covered by the connective tissue they are supplied with the blood vessels etc so when we are drawing the structure of an ovary uh, it is necessary to draw all these stages of the follicles mm -hmm.